and we are outside. Hey everyone, it is Sunday, March 24th for 29 p.m. And I think, I don't know what the temperature is. Let me check here. It's about one degree Celsius. I was just having lunch with a couple of friends at the Momo house. I guess a very late lunch here in Greektown. I was going to record a video and I thought, eh, let's live stream instead. I didn't really have any video ideas. I see Claudia, Wesley, Brad Palmer, Judy, Janice, Harjot, Sheena Roberts, Cam, Six Loves Allen, Picard, and everyone else. Thanks for tuning in. If you are tuning in, I'm probably going to go live at 8 p.m. tonight on the Johnny Stumbles channel. I don't really have anything prepared or planned for that one. But just like Friday, I guess it'll be another double live where I go live on both channels. So you can head over to Johnny Stumbles if you're curious about that. Michael Nguyen is here. Sam A, what did I have for lunch? I had momos, Tibetan momos, which are kind of like dumplings or mandu. How is the momo house? It's excellent. It's a, one of the places I go to quite often in this area. Oh, Sanjay and Kingston. There's Holy Name. So we're just making our way west. I'm not sure where exactly. We'll find our way to a subway stop. Well, it's kind of a nice spring day. Waiting for my return flight video from Thailand? Oh, I, I did not record that. I should have because I got to go through the new terminal at Sawaniboom Airport in Bangkok. I don't think there's too many videos on that. So that would have been probably a bit of a hit. Greetings, Josephine, Gertez, John Barrientos. John Barrientos, thank you so much for gifting 10 channel memberships during this, this morning's premiere. Thank you so much, John, and welcome to membership to the 10 new members. Kind of a nice, somewhat sunny day. Greetings, Mark Lang. Oh, someone tied up their woofer. This is Carla Avenue. Withrow Park is just south of here. So we are heading west on the south side of Danforth. There's the Sinaloa factory. This place on Tuesdays offers up a delicious Taco Tuesdays. And here is Ramen Buta Nebo. Some of the best ramen in town by far. This is definitely a foodie kind of neighborhood. I woke up this morning and was feeling kind of hungry. I pulled out Uber Eats and ordered some A&W for breakfast. Uh, two more blocks. I'm walking directly into the sun. Oh, 
I guess that guy didn't show up that day in driving school when I taught people what stop signs were. Anywho. Robert Armstrong is in the house. Good to know that you've announced yourself, Robert. Welcome. <laughs> And just a friendly reminder to like and subscribe. It's good for the algorithm. But if you don't want to, no one's putting a gun to your head. Greetings, Sammy Wu. Vivian Johnson, our trusty and faithful CEO, has made an appearance. RJ McKenzie says, hi, everyone. You're at the ROM. I don't normally do live streams at this time on a Sunday. This is Logan Avenue. Yogi is here. Happy belated birthday, Yogi. Yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, was Yogi's birthday. Happy birthday, Yogi. How's Jeff healing up? Any word? Yes. I was in touch with Jeff yesterday, but I will let him make any announcements on his channel himself. I don't know if he's planning on doing a live stream on his channel or Beers and Cheers, his other channel. I can confirm he seems to be doing fairly well, but in terms of his status update, I'll let him be the one to break that. There's Messini. Greetown looking good. What's interesting, if you're on this side of the street, you deal with these slushy sidewalks on the other side of the street, they are bone dry. That's just due to the sun. I had this problem yesterday. I recorded a video. Now I was on the south side of Bloor. There's an excellent breakfast place. Stacked, but that one closes early. I think the one at Queen and Spadina stays open a little later. Good evening, Kevin. There's the Momo hut. I was at the Momo house. Momo is really becoming a thing in this city, especially around Parkdale, AKA Little Tibet. Alex Farm Cheese. And we have left Greek Town. Cam says the sunshine is pretty hard to disagree with that. RJ asking how my day is so far. It's been good, kind of relaxing. I watched a lot of Physical 100. I've been catching up on that. Mike Landry, two bucks. Thank you, Mike Landry. Thank you for the support and the super. Any good Mexican food here? Yeah, we walked by the Sinaloa hey, factory. Buddy. Hello. There's a friendly viewer, caught me off guard. Uh, thanks, Mike. Dwayne D says Danforth reminds him of young in the 90s. A little less gritty, but an eclectic mix of businesses, that's for sure. Something that young has been losing. Yeah. 
All right, don't know who that guy was talking to. Yeah, George, I have. I'll let Jeff announce his status on his channel. I can't confirm he is alive and well. I can't imagine having to endure all those flights the way he did. He is more of a man than I am. What are the beaches like? I've got videos of the beaches up. Again, I picked the mucky side of the street to walk on. That picture in the thumbnail was from where I started this at the Momo house. Michael Collins weighing in from Boston, Massachusetts. Jack asking, where are we? We are in an area known as the Plater Estates on Danforth Avenue, heading west. A lot of people would call this Greek town, but it's not. I'm gonna do my sweater up a bit. Greetings, Liam in the house. Robert says the bare naked ladies used to live here. Did Z80 rebrand? No, they didn't. They still use the uh, a similar logo to Tilt. $10 cash cover, $19 with the valid ID. Claudia wondering when I was going to go live again. I was going to go live Friday outside. I ended up just being lazy and doing it inside. Yesterday afternoon I was going to go live, but I ended up just making a second video instead. This is why when people ask when are you going live, I couldn't even tell them. I prefer just to do it randomly. It's one of those questions that kind of drives me nuts, <laughs> to be honest. We're walking by the Danforth Music Hall. Account says the drumming at Young and Dundas is so annoying. Yeah, they put up signs the effect of reminding people about noise bylaws but what they don't actually do is enforce them that's a theme in the city not really enforcing anything All right, we've got a choice. Do I go straight on Bloor Street or do I make a left and head down Broadview? What should I do, Bloor Street East or Broadview?
Obviously, it's such a beautiful Sunday, indeed. This is where Broadview Station is. Jack Randall says left. I believe you were the first one to weigh in, Jack Randall. And Sheena also says Broadview. You have made my decision for me. The Caribbean Dutch pot. I won't be cutting through Riverdale Park. I'm not wearing any waterproof shoes. It gets pretty muddy. Once you just get to the other side of the Don River. Falcom asking how much I paid <laughs> for the Galaxy phone. I believe it was like $16.99 Canadian. Gary L, welcome to God tier. That's the highest tier of membership. Thank you so much, Gary L, for your support. When I update those ending credits, which I should do this week, your name will appear on that section on the left, but thank you so much. If it's Jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, sometimes it's Gary, sometimes it's Jerry. Sorry if I got it wrong, but thank you so much for tuning in. And this is kind of a newsworthy spot. This Loblaws here is on the brink of becoming a no frills. There's a big no frills down at Carla and Gerard that's closing up due to Metrolinx construction. And I think that no frills franchisee is inheriting this location. as we head south down Broadview Avenue. Have I recorded any 8K videos? No. I don't have anything to view 8K videos on. And truthfully, I have the S24 Ultra and a 15 Pro, but I prefer the video quality on my Pocket 3. So I don't really use either smartphone for videos. Nicole Morse, all my videos are great. Thank you, all of them. That's a big compliment. I can think of a few that aren't so great. All right, let's cross here. We'll go to the uh, side with the view. Greetings, Lewis. I don't think we'll see any sledding today, but maybe we'll be surprised. So we are on the east side, east of downtown. I think we'll stream for about an hour and a half today. And I'll go home and prepare to stream again at 8 p.m. on the Johnny Stumbles channel. If not 8, it might be pushed back to 8.30. No later than that. Sammy says Ken is going live in a bit. Maybe we'll run into him.
Any plans to go to Mississauga City Center? Uh, I do not have any plans, but I think I'll go there. I've been meaning to go there. I've done square one a few times. I was there right at Christmas. A 505 Dundas streetcar that will be going all the way to Dundas West Station. John Ramirez says it's a traffic jam of <laughs> Dio walk tubing streamers these days. I remember the good old days when it was just me poking around. I do credit everyone walking around doing this for kind of normalizing it. You used to get a lot of weird looks and people staring at you. I think there's so many people doing it all over the place these days. No one really bats an eyelash anymore. But we're about to get a very good view of the skyline. And greetings, Firestorm. This is Riverdale Park East. We are coming up upon that famous skyline view. That's got to be a 504. And it's going all the way to Roncesvilles and Queen. It is not going up to Dundas West Station. That kind of sucks. This is a very common streaming spot for me, like three, four years ago. It's the downtown skyline. Hello, Pine Soul. We're at over 370 viewers already. Thank you so much, guys. I was watching a YouTuber that I met in Thailand go live earlier today. Jason Rupp Harjot has gifted five channel memberships. Jack Randall, Matt Bro, Sammy Wu, Brett Mallon, and Wesley. So we've welcomed in 16 new channel members since this morning. Holy cow, thank you 
so much Harjot. And I see that you are also a member of Patreon as well, Harjot. Thank you so much. Harjot has been one of the longest, I guess one of the viewers who's been around the longest in this community. Yeah, there's Bridgepoint Health, formerly Riverdale Hospital was on that site and it was kind of a neat donut shape. And these green poles here are actually venting gas because this is a former landfill. And there were even plans to, or one of the plans proposed for the Sky Dome was to build it here, of all places. A lot says today is a gorgeous day to get out. Yeah, that is something we should have a whole lot more of. Now that spring is upon us, days like this. <laughs> All the benches are spoken for, people taking in that awesome skyline view. Matt loves going to Riverdale on an evening for your upcoming Toronto trip to check out Sunset. Oh, I butchered reading your comment, but you get the gist of it. Vertege hopes no more snow. Well, that last snowfall was the most snow we've had. They'll usually announce if they're doing something. All year, it doesn't happen during winter. It happens during spring, our biggest snowfall. Go figure. Cracked 400 viewers. Awesome. Clayton Crawford is here. Ah, uh, Philip, there's a link to channel membership. It should be in the description, but if you're a member of Patreon, the perks are pretty much the same. Patreon, you can send DMs directly to me. On YouTube, you get that little badge beside your name. Everything else is equal. There's the rooster, an excellent cafe in this area. I think the best part about this is it is not even 5 p.m. and we are nowhere near sunset. Whereas in the thick of winter, it already be getting dark by now. Natural Isa or Naturaliza is probably how you say it. Thank you so much for joining the ranks of Silver Tier. That is 17 new channel members since this morning alone. Holy cow, guys. 
Can't wait till summertime when it doesn't get dark till 9.30. Know a lot of people that like to play golf that can't wait for that. Get those twilight rounds in. Firestorm watched the Ghostbusters 1984 movie today. I haven't seen the newest one. I watched half of the new Roadhouse on Prime last night before I went to bed. It's pretty energy or entertaining, but I think it's missing the spirit of the original. All right, so just up ahead is East Chinatown. I'll have a decision on my hands in terms of where to go. Cam says tomorrow is the lunar eclipse. Is that tomorrow? Eclipse has been, yeah, Patreon members don't have badges on YouTube. Claudia says, am I going to break her record? <laughs> I don't know. The Hennick Bridgepoint Hospital are the right as well as the old Don Jail where, believe it or not, they used to do public executions. Now these days, if you commit a serious crime, they grant you bail and you're free to go almost instantly. But back then, we actually believed in punishing criminals. There's the Don Jail. Misam Son says it's still winter there. All right, RJ, take care. Lisa dropping in. I like this side. Downtown. That way. <laughs> Downtown is over there. Maybe that's for like tourists who went up to check out the view from Riverdale Park. Alright, we have another decision. Go right at Girard or stay on Broadview and then we can maybe go right at Dundas or maybe Queen. Carlos says, Johnny for mayor, you don't want me as mayor. Hey, new episode dropping tonight. down to Dundas instead of crossing at Gerard Greetings Alan Compton Falcom says it doesn't matter Cam said to go right yeah I'm kind of feeling going south a bit more Lisa says Chow is doing just fine hey she got the Gardner Expressway off the city's hands.
That is more than I would accomplish. So this is a stretch of East Chinatown. Greetings, Colleen. Ramen, Sandy's Gyoza. It's pretty new, I think. Ooh, do I remember where that A&W used to be? Is a coffee shop? I don't. Jack says, whose responsibility is the gardener now? The city is handing it off to the province. It really made no sense that the city was responsible for maintenance. And I think that means it'll fall under OPP jurisdiction and not the Metro Toronto Police. Hey, I once made a video <laughs> where I got my haircut here. The old rainbow. I couldn't refuse a men's haircut for 15 bucks. I showed her a picture of what I wanted. <laughs> she was like, okay. And then proceeded to cut my hair in a way that didn't look anything at all like the picture. Here's a music venue that used to be on the west side, Hughes Room. And it is relocated in this old church. I think it was maybe in January, I was live streaming and the doors were open and I walked right in there with my camera. Will the gardener go back to be calling the QEW? I don't think the gardener was ever called the QEW. Part of the stretch where Etobicoke meets Mississauga used to be QEW, I think, and that was renamed The Gardener. I'm pretty sure it's always been The Gardener, at least through downtown towards the Humber. Lisa likes the stretch of Broadview. I think Broadview as a whole is a pretty interesting street. It gets a little kind of quiet north of Danforth. Out of all the north-south streets on this part of the city, east of downtown, I think it's the most interesting, more so than Jones or Greenwood or Woodbine or Victoria Park. All right, decision time, right at Dundas or keep going south on Broadview to Queen. What do you guys say? What are we doing? Are we going right or are we going south? Don't be asking if there'll be a Johnny Stumbles tonight. Probably. I'm planning on it. Pape is also interesting south of Danforth. I don't really consider Pape a major street. It gets disconnected before Girard. Sammy says right on Dundas. Jack says south. Lisa says keep south. Natural Lisa says go straight. Alex says south. Right is on. All right, it looks like south has narrowly won the impromptu and unofficial vote. Now the question is, are we going to Queen or are we going all the way down to Eastern? Hello, Lee's Fox. 
as Spags says, nothing along that stretch of Dundas. Yeah, if I went, well, Regent Park is just on the other side. That's kind of interesting. You could walk by a Wendy's, I guess. Lisa says it's easier to see the screen because of the sun, but we'll be going west at either Queen or Eastern. This little church has a building permit on it. If you're just tuning in, we are in Riverdale, going south down the west side of Broadview, right across the street from Queen Alex Middle School. There's also an alternative school connected to it. Here's the Broadview Gospel Hall. In the coming weeks, maybe I'll do a Beaches and Leslieville stream or a video. But we're gonna hang a right and head towards downtown. Josh Medrano, good afternoon. Alright, it's time to play my favorite game. Fire up your Google searches. For sale, 176 Broadview. Hmm. I am going to guess 1.4 million. Place your bets, guys. Um, I think that's probably around 1,600 square feet, maybe two and a half bath, three bedroom. I'm going 1.3 mil, yeah, 1.4 million for 176. Marge, $5 for an IPA for Mr. Stumbles. Thank you, Marge, so much. I don't know if I have any IPAs in the fridge. I might have to pick one up flip that camera around. Actually, I was drinking last night. Rainfall says 1.55. Tiana says 2 million. s Bag says 1.4. Shit, did I get it? Crispy says 1.46. Rainfall says 1.55. Matt says 1.25. Did anyone look it up and verify it? My guess is 1.4 million. I tend to either be very accurate with my guesses or nowhere near in the right ballpark. I did. So do I win the house? Somebody, please tell me I want it. Crispy says 1,500 and 53 square feet. So I was pretty close with the square footage as well. I think that's what, like 1.1 in USD. Whoop. And just up ahead, we have the former home of Jilly's, the Broadview Hotel. 
It was a pretty good rooftop bar and restaurant I haven't been to in a while. And on the west side, in West Queen West, the same group has a very similar property. They own a couple of these older boutique hotels. I don't know how well you can see into there. Lisa says, go south of Queen. Down to Eastern. I don't know about that. Paul Blunt, 279, Rip Jillies. I never went into Jillies, but I have been past Jillies. We'll spin around and take a better look at it from the other side of the street. But Paul Blunt, thank you for the 279. And yes, Toronto lost one of its institutions when Jilly skipped town, but thank you so much, Paul Blunt. I remember one night going to Prohibition Gastro House next to it. Now, Lisa, I'm gonna save Eastern Avenue for a future video. I already have something mapped out where I walk along Eastern. We'll take Queen for a little bit. We'll battle the sunlight. to keep the camera angled more to the right. Just to avoid that sun, which is straight ahead. how much better the lighting is in that direction. Yeah, Jilly's is now the Broadview Hotel. They also have the Gladstone Hotel. about to walk by the first baseball stadium in the city, where it was. Baseball place. And these condos got off to kind of a rocky start. I know someone who lived in here and they're complaining that all kinds of like plumbing problems. But this is Where home plate was. <laughs> it's your daily dose of vitamin D. Seems unlikely that you are receiving anything vitamin wise from watching this. We're about to go over the Queen Viaduct and head over the Don River. We'll then be downtown. How about going to a Raptors game for a stream? <laughs> that will get copyrighted in two seconds and taken down. The 
There's a 501 Queen Streetcar going all the way to the Neville Park Loop. One thing I normally try to do is walk in the other direction at this time of day when I'm making a video. I think this camera handles the sun much better. Rushbrook. That might be for a future video. Natural Isa contributing <laughs> toward that IPA, Johnny. Two bucks. Thank you so much for the two bucks as we take a look at the Don Valley parking lot that was going south just before it comes to an end and you can merge onto the gardener. But thank you so much for the two bucks and the support. It was a 503 Kingston Road streetcar. That'll be short turning right at Spadina and King. Or I guess not short turning, as that's the end of the line for the 503. And yeah, we're now crossing the Don River, the main divide between Riverdale and downtown. What is this bridge called? It's the Queen Street Viaduct. Have I walked through Downstreet Park? I did a video through there once. It's on the Johnny Stumbles channel. All right, we will veer left here. This is King Street. Maybe we'll do King Street for a few blocks. And then I'll head south down to front. And we'll walk through the St. Lawrence neighborhood. Greetings, Betty. And we have broken 500 viewers. Thank you so much, guys. Greetings, Mara. Is the sun bothering my eyes? Uh, no. You know what? Let's walk on the shady side of King. Let's cross the street here. We'll duck the sun for a little bit. It's the Toronto Humane Society straight ahead. Someone's little bag. Robert says Virgin Mobile gave him 90 gigs for 60 a month. I've got an offer from Bell for 100 gigs for 40. They're trying to win me back. I don't really need it, but it's such a good deal. I've got one from Freedom for 50 gigs for 29 a month. It's 
kind of amazing. We're finally getting reasonable data plants in Canada. Can I read your name? Aki Yoshi AK. Hey Johnny, do you have any good recommendations for walking shoes? Do I ever? I'm a fan of barefoot shoes. I currently have a pair of Vivos. I also have a new pair of Zero HFS 2s that I haven't yet worn. But if you want something a bit more traditional, I really like the brand Ultra AL. TRA. That's what I'm wearing now. I'm wearing my Lone Peak 7s. These are actually trail shoes. Clayton saw a wallet. I, I don't think that was a wallet if he's referring to that little yellow pouch. We are on King Street East, heading west. Heinz Lowell says, Fido called you to win you back from Virgin. It's not worth the hard credit check. Yeah. I had a bunch of hard credit checks as I got some new credit cards for traveling. And my credit score took a pounding. Those checks will knock your score down and it takes a while to build it back up. So if you're concerned about that, that could be a factor. I think I dropped like 50 points just for getting three credit cards. I got the Marriott Bonvoy Amex card, the Scotiabank Scene card, and a Rogers MasterCard, which I use to pay my Rogers bill with because it's cheaper. I don't know Lisa a lot. I have no balances on any of them though. But after you get that hard credit check, you do have to wait for your score to creep back up, which is annoying. So we are on the east side of downtown. in Corktown and this street here is a really really unique bright street. We're just going to take a quick look at it. What this connects king to queen. You've got some very leany looking townhomes. No, you're not seeing things. It's a very unique street. I think charming would be the best adjective to describe Bright Street. Normally the east side of downtown 
isn't as busy as the west side if you're wondering where all the people are. Bend over asking how old I am, <laughs> am I? My age has a three and a four in it. I'll accept either order you put them in. Jack says the credit score <laughs> system is a total farce. Yeah, I went from like 870 to 820. And all I did was take out a few credit cards. And it's slowly nudging its way back. I get all those emails from Credit Karma. Hey, your score improved. I look at it, it's like up two points. There's Gusto 501. Firestorm says 43. Yes. Oh, we've got a tent. Worldwide quest. I thought that said experimental travel. It says experiential travel. Apparently, travel agents are still a thing. Is it Gusto? You feel like it's Gusto? It's probably Gusto. Me and pronouncing things correctly, name a better pair than that. Were you born in 1980? I was. So some call me a millennial, some say Gen X. Johnny looks like he's in his 20s. I don't think so. I was at a dispensary last night. And a guy next to me in like a beard and mustache who looked kind of definitely older than me. They carded him. And they didn't card me. I'd never been there before. Don says the trip is insured when buying from travel agents. Yeah, but if you buy directly from an airline and use a credit card, you're covered anyways. As long as you don't buy their cheapest fare option. And if your credit card has decent protections, I usually book hotels or Airbnbs that I can cancel up until the last moment. Over thought I was 30. Cam's friend uses a travel agent. Yeah, I guess I'm just out of touch with the crowd that would need that. I find all the fun is kind of doing it yourself. to Skyscanner or Google Flights, seeing what's out there and starting to piece together all the puzzles. There's the oldest still operating church in the city, the Little Trinity Church. If I looked into the Amex Cobalt, I have. That apparently is the best travel card you can have in Canada. And you can convert your points to other loyalty programs quite easily. I can convert my Marriott Bonvoy points to Aeroplan. my hobbies <laughs> beside walking and talking. Does fantasy football count? 
probably not, eh? I think what we'll do is maybe we'll head down to Front Street and we'll continue our march west. Maybe in a few more blocks. But at that hairstyle. You'll never fly Air Canada again? I will. I'm sure I will. I would just prefer other options. But there is a staging area for the Ontario subway line going in. I guess. I guess if at first you don't succeed, try, try again is the Metrolinx model. Does it matter? The taxpayers are paying for it anyways. Jelly Bean says, are annual fees tax deductible? I don't know, but the Amex I have is only 120 bucks a year, so Probably if that card was used exclusively for business purchases. Which city is better, Toronto or Montreal? Them's fighting words. I would say if you're visiting Canada, both are 100% worth checking out. I would say they are hands down the best two cities one could visit in this country. really gonna shit talk Montreal. I think it's pretty awesome. That said, cost of living aside, I think Toronto is the better city overall to live. But they're so different. Montreal definitely slaughters Toronto in terms of medium density housing and the missing middle neighborhoods. We've made it to Front Street. Heading to Montreal in two weeks and haven't been since before the pandemic. I went twice, once during the pandemic and once right after last February. I don't have any plans for Montreal this year. My chat just went all nuts. Yeah, old Montreal is a treat. Ooh, we got that sun. There's no side of the street I can avoid it. It is barreling directly down on me here. Kind of hug the right and keep the camera this way, I guess. No, I've been, I've been kidding. Uh... Yeah, just for laughs is held in Montreal. Wasn't that cancelled this year? Where am I recording right now? We are recording directly into the sun. Going west on the north side of Front Street East. Walking along the side of no frills. Wonder how many people are actually going to go through with the boycott of Loblaws properties. 
in the month of May. I will, but I don't shop at any of them anyways. And we're coming upon Princess Street. What am I recording from? Is this an iPhone? No, I'm using my Pocket 2 camera. Christmas is just for last one bankrupt. Doing my best to avoid the sun. Philippe Borges, sorry if I mispronounced that. Ten real, Johnny, you are the best. Say hello for my wife, Susanira. She dreams to immigrate to Canada. Thank you so much. I believe that is ten real you sent. Thank you. And may your wife's dreams come true. Tell her to. Keep pumping coins into that piggy bank, though. It is very expensive to live here these days. We are at Sherburn Street. So this is the St. Lawrence neighborhood. If our buns were any fresher, they'd be dough. Person just pulling Yui's. This is Frederick Street. All right, maybe we'll just keep trucking until we get to Union Station. that glare. Ever tried streaming from the Vision Pro? I do not have a Vision Pro. I have a Quest 2 I don't use. be shielded from that glare pretty soon. There's the St. Lawrence Market. Just up on the left. Quarter breakfast.
Again, I'll probably be going live either at 8 or 8.30 over on my other channel later tonight. I don't really have anything planned for that, but we'll just hang out. How much is rent in Toronto? Haha! <laughs> Look it up and find out. And prepare to be surprised. Do I have a car? No, I don't. It was this neighborhood where I gave up my car a long, long time ago. I had a Pontiac G6 GT. And when I moved here and I got a job on the subway, I very much realized I do not need a car. It is stupid to be paying $600 a month or so just to have the privilege of having a car. my monthly payment plus insurance plus gas and all that fun stuff it's the new St. Lawrence Northern Market on the right there's the St. Lawrence Market I'm getting a battery warning on my camera. Let me just pull over here, take off my gloves and see what we're really at percentage wise. Yeah, if you live in somewhat close proximity to rapid transit, you can very much get by without a car in the city. see here battery life 30 percent oh we should have plenty they have a pontiac that would be a vintage car nowadays hey i bought that car in december Oh, I didn't buy it, I leased it. And on like the GM webpage, the, it was a four year lease and the monthly payments would have been like 580. But they were running all these deals. GM was kind of desperate back then. Plus, they're desperate to hit sales figures by the end of the month, especially in December. So we bargained down a price and it worked out to about 350 a month I was getting in the car. And then I pulled out my GM student discount, which knocked several thousand off the car and I got it for like 298 a month, taxes in. That was like a $35,000 car for a four year lease. And did I mention no down payment? So I got a pretty good deal on it. And when it was time to give it up, I put it on lease busters. And I screwed up because I had like a hundred people mail me right away. Curious about it. That's how I knew. Oh shit. This deal is good enough that so many people want it. So I probably should have charged some money as well. But a guy came almost the next day, test drove it. Two days later, we're at the dealership signing the paperwork over and I lease busted it to him. It was also pretty low miles. so. They scored a pretty good deal off of me. Are student offers still a thing for cars? I don't know, but GM was really aggressive trying to move cars back in like the mid 2000s. I remember I could have got like a Honda Civic and it would have cost me a lot more than like a G6 GT. And it was leased and under warranty the whole time, so I didn't mind rolling the dice. Jennifer Gala. Yeah, especially if you can put it in like a 
business name. It makes sense just to lease it short term. Either way, cars are a depreciating asset. So now we are, well, we're still on Front Street, but the north side of Berksy Park here is Wellington Street. And I don't think I've ever walked by this building before without pointing it out, but this is the Flatiron Building. Hello? Hey, I, I was in Vancouver, I seen you. Yeah? Yeah, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go to Toronto. Oh, really? Yeah, so I'm gonna run into that guy. Oh, I'm live right now, but nice to meet you. Yeah, man. You enjoying Toronto? Oh, yeah, so far. I've been here one year. Oh, wow. <laughs> awesome. Nice to meet you. Just ran into a friendly viewer. But yeah, this is the famous Flatiron building from the wrong side. I guess I've walked by it so many times. What are they doing? Their pursuit of cheesy vertical videos. There's some art on the back of the flat iron. A famous dog fountain. I think we're gonna just head over to Union Station. That guy bopping on his headphones. He is working out. There's Meridian Hall. At one point in time known as the O'Keefe Center. Here's where Franz used to be. Coming soon, Cafe Landward. That place is everywhere. And Biff's under construction. There's the third tower in the CIBC Square complex going up. And we're about to walk by the Hockey Hall of Fame. And we're about to cross over to the west side of downtown. We'll I'll take a look north up Young Street. the old Dominion building across the street. So if you're just tuning in or late to the show, we started up in Greektown at the Momo House restaurant. And I made my way 
west along Danforth over to Broadview, and then it was south. Down to Queen, and then west along Queen to King, and then I made my way down to Front Street here. my favorite area to take strides in. You'll probably see that on the channel tomorrow. There's Brookfield Place. And the CN Tower straight ahead. And Union Station below it. We're going to be popping into Union Station. That's what happens if you bike, park your bike here. This is Bay Street. as this weather seems like good bike weather well it's cold enough for me I know my nose would be running like a faucet I was out on two wheels in this and it's back to walking into the Sun Royal York Hotel on the right. I'm going to pop into the station just up ahead here. I've had to use the little boys room for quite a while so we're going to head over there and wrap things up. group of people out here. It'd be nice to get out of the sun. Let me get these gloves off. There we go. It's the battery life at 21%. We are easily good. Let's go find the Lou. This is the Great Hall. I think I was in here the last time I did a live stream. capture or capture well I guess you could but you could catch a via train here to Ottawa Windsor or Montreal you take a go train out to suburbia catch a go bus catch the up express to the airport or you could head down 
and hop onto the subway or a streetcar. This is the busiest transportation hub in the entire country. And the restrooms are just here on the left, so... I think that's about it. I want to thank everyone who tuned in for this one. Thanks to our new channel members. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks to our mods for their excellent work. Thanks to channel members and Patreon supporters. Do you say washroom or bathroom? Generally, I say washroom. I am Canadian, although in a house, I'll say bathroom. Next live stream tonight, 8 p.m. or maybe 8.15 if I'm running late on the Johnny Stumbles channel. There's a link to that in the description. Head over, subscribe to that channel and hit the bell. I'll see you live there and I'll have a video tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. EST on this channel if you want to join in for the premiere and I'll probably go live again maybe Tuesday on this channel maybe Tuesday morning but who knows maybe we'll even go live again tomorrow thank you David Ng, Claudia, Lisa Palmer, Blocks, Jillian, Cam, Jellybean, Casey's mom, Pinesel, Tiana, Firestorm, Sal Smith and everyone else thank you so much for watching you too Brad Palmer stay warm stay safe and 